is a trifling. Over here. You're Achilles' boy. Connor, was it? I saw what happened at the townhouse. A fine mess, that. Who are you? Samuel Adams, at your service. Achilles asked me to get you out of Boston. Explain. The whole city's looking for you. Oh, yay! Oh, yay! A criminal stalks the streets, wanted in connection with the massacre at the townhouse. Citizens are advised to call the guards if they see him. Ten pounds to whoever brings this madman What am I supposed justice. to do? You can take down these posters for a start. Return to me once you remove the others. I've nothing more to say so long as those posters remain. Connor, there you are. I'd like you to meet Cyrus. Is it... is he the killer? Peace. Cyrus is on our side, or rather, for the right price he will be. Have you seen this man? Watch and learn. The man responsible for today's shooting may have been in disguise. A wig and makeup tin were found near the scene of the crime. Witnesses describe a middle aged gentleman of pale complexion fleeing towards the wharves, rifle in arm. Thank you kindly, Cyrus. Pleasure. Come on, then. There's still one last bit of work to do. Where are we going? To the printer. Where do you think all those posters came from? They're made by a machine. We need to shut it down. Damn it, we're too late. They've set up a checkpoint. Come on, this way. I can go by rooftop and meet you there. No. Better you learn about the tunnels now. Tunnels? The Masons have a whole network of them under the city. They're quite useful when speed and secrecy are required. Get yourself away from here. No one can hear that. Here we are, then. I'll see you inside.
Use your lantern to light the lamps, Connor. They'll help us find our way should we get turned around. I wonder why they built these tunnels. Excellent. Let us move on. Much as it pains me to say it, we must follow the rats, as they often move in the direction of an exit. You were right. I apologize for ever doubting. No wonder Achilles has taken such an interest in you. Ours. I don't suppose lockpicking is part of your repertoire? printer isn't far. Let us reconvene there. You ask a great deal of me, Sam. I know. But I wouldn't be here if it wasn't important, if it wasn't vital. Fine. Just this once, though. In the future, such things will come at a price. Resetting the type is neither quick nor easy. To say nothing of the cost should I be discovered. I shall not forget this kindness. Nor I. His work will see your last little bit of notoriety erased. Come, I'll show you how to leave now that order's been restored. So, now you've had a chance to see how it all works. Untoward actions will upset the citizens and inevitably lead to the guards being called. Depending on the severity of your transgression, they may simply search a bit before giving up and returning to their post. But should you offend them severely or repeatedly, they'll become much more aggressive in their pursuits. I've shown you three ways to turn the tide. Remove wanted posters, bribe town criers, or visit a printer to create your own propaganda. This feels wrong. Why not just speak to someone and explain my innocence? You can't be serious. We counter one lie with another. Words on paper instantly taken as truth. And all of it without question. They lose this beast! Or have you forgotten? Here we are. Speak with the harbor master, and he'll see you home. Thank you for everything, Sam. I promise one day to repay the favor. Oh, I'm counting on it. Like this.
Welcome back. You left me in Boston. The training we've done here is all well and good. But experience is a better teacher by far. What of my father? Into the wind, I'm afraid. We have to find him. And we will. After the house has been repaired. But he's out there plotting who knows what. And what would you do when you found him? If you found him. You're a boy with a few months of training. He's a man, full grown, who spent decades honing his skills. If you're going to stand a chance against the Templars, you're going to need these. Go on before I change my mind. Sir, please, help! He's going to die! Booth! There's no time! Please, come! Down there! He's just passed under the bridge! Someone! Help! Help me! Please! Help me! Please! Someone! Help! Someone! Help! Someone! Help! Help me! Please! Help me! Please! What this knobend is trying to say is he's forever in your debt, sir. Who are you calling? A knobend? You! Because you are one! What were you doing on those logs? One of the dangers of lumbering. We've got the camp set up a few rods off of here, as we're cutting timber. We're hoping to open a mill in the area. There's a good place not far from the manor on the hill where I'm staying. <laughs> I like you already. We'll have a look. I'll miss the peace and quiet, but we can certainly use the wood. The manor needs a lot of work. That and other things. Meet me at the small shack by the shoreline when you have time. There's something else you need to see. What is it? An asset.
it, but I have them. Sure, just get me a ship and a crew, and we'll find out what it was he held so dear. I met him once at Captain's. He was seven feet tall if he was an inch. Go away! Say, go away, boy! Do you not speak the king's English? Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. The boy's name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? God, my manners. She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention. Minor things, mostly, but... With a little affection, she'll fly again. Who is she? Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy, the ghost of the North Seas. The boat. A, a boat? She's a ship boy, and make no mistake about it. I thought you brought him here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. Connor, meet me back at the manor when you've finished here. You said it requires repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she, boy. And yes, I can refit her, but I I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some, some quality timber would help me get started. I can see to that. How long before it... she... is able to sail again? Just get me the lumber, boy. And I'll... Raise a crew. There you are. I have something to show you. Come, take a look. What is it? A ledger. It lets us manage the homestead's dealings. And these? Uh, that was years ago. Before the slow fever, before the Templars, before everything collapsed. But that's all in the past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works. Time passed quickly after that. My days a blur of study, training, and work. What little free time Achilles allowed me was spent learning about the Templars. About Charles Lee and my father. I longed to confront them. To put an end to their schemes. To ensure my people would remain untroubled and free. But I knew it was too soon. That to approach them now would see me killed. All my work would be for nothing. Patience, restraint. These proved the most difficult subjects for me. But in time, I mastered them as well. Days became months. Months became years. 
And as my skills and knowledge grew, so too did I. <laughs>